hello welcome to everyone in this video this is our lecture number 10 and this is the part 5 of the introductory plasma physics so in this video we want to discuss that is the plasma oscillation if you want to watch the previous lectures you can go through this description box link given in there in the this is the actually total syllabus of the plasma physics of second semester of university of calcutta msc uh, this portion already covered in the last five uh, last four part this is the five part in this part we want to discuss this one that is the plasma oscillation okay this reference we actually uh, follow up for these lectures and previous lectures also so let's start with the plasma oscillation actually within the plasma within the plasma you know there is a ions and electrons right now if we consider uh, the ions and electron uh, such that they can form like that uh, we can consider as uh, that is this plasma is distributed like that uh, such that they are uh, are making a plus charge uh, here and the minus charge uh, distributed like that this is actually uh, will happening we can take consider the plasma like that plasma plus positive charge distributed like that along this uh, uh, direction this is actually extended along y and z direction this is y this is z along this throughout this x and z uh, y and z direction only we discrete along the x direction so there is x direction and these are distributed like that so they are from an electric field and due to electric field there is a electron when we take the electron this electron are uh, forced and due to this force they make the uh, actually oscillated because this was changed like that after that it it will be uh, vfs repulsive here right and here you think that is the ions as the mass is larger mass of ion is larger than mass of electron that's why the electron can easily oscillate actually ions and electron both are oscillate but here the oscillation 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 of electron electron is much larger larger than that of uh, ions right so uh, the, uh, the the oscillation is actually uh, oscillation of the electron actually uh, effectively actual effect of the oscillation of electron uh, we can consider and we take the ions as a rest actual these are oscillate but this oscillation is next level this is taken as a rest and the electron oscillation we consider electron as a oscillated oscillated right so there will be this also oscillate this also oscillate but uh, we take this as a rest and this as a oscillate because this oscillation is very low and this oscillation frequency actually we can take as the plasma oscillation frequency this uh, actually ions have oscillation frequency electron have oscillation frequency and these two uh, ions oscillation frequency is very much lower than to electron oscillation frequency and plasma frequency is not equal to that but we can take as the um, plasma frequency as the frequency of the electron right so as a total the plasma frequency is, is nothing but the ions and electron are oscillated within the plasma and this uh, plasma uh, oscillation of uh, ions is negligible in compared to the oscillation of the electron and the oscillation frequency of the electron actually we uh, consider and we will calculate the frequency for the uh, electron right so if you wants to uh, calculate this frequency oscillation frequency of electron you need to uh, take some assumption first one there is no external magnetic field no thermal motivation that is kt0 and ions take as the fixed in space of uniform distribution and plasma in infinite extent there are infinite extent in y and z direction and in the x direction also infinite extent but we take this uh, distribution as a taking for oscillation and the electron motion occur only in the 
x direction so the electron is move along the x direction due to this force right so we can uh, uh, consider this uh, during this assumption only x direction so gradient will be all uh, along only x direction and electric field will be along x direction also we can take this electric field along x direction also so this will be x directions and you know the curl of e equals to zero so e can be taken as the minus grad phi uh, phi is the potential so no fluctuation magnetic field this electrostatic uh, oscillation uh, magnetic field so this is an actually electrostatic oscillation this oscillation actually caused by this electrostatic field because the magnetic field here taken as the zero and the electron equation of the motion of continuity from the motion of continuity we can write this one and this one and from poison equation we can take this that is epsilon naught divergence of e equals to epsilon naught del e del x because this is along only x direction and this is nothing but the charge right so this is from poison equation so these three equation actually we uh, are the important for the derivation and we can take the amplitude of the oscillation is small and terms containing higher power of amplitude factor be neglected so we can take as a two part that is equilibrium part which indicate by this zero and there is another part that is the perturbation part that is denoted by one this is number density this is velocity this is electric field so the equilibrium quantities expression the state of the plasma absent in the oscillation since the assumption of the uniform potential plasma rest before the electron displays so we can take this is uh, this equilibrium electric field and the velocity and gradient of this number density will be zero and their time derivative also zero initially so we can put this value in this expression you will be get this expression now this term is seen through quadratic amplitude of that so we can write this one as this one because this can be taken as zero this is through small and this is uh, divided into two part and we can see that is the uh, that is this uh, this part will be zero because this is zero initially so you will be get this two term right this two term will be zero and in this equation in this equation there is uh, ni uh, taken as zero because this uh, is uh, uh, at the oscillation of ion is not considered we only consider it on the electronic oscillation so you will be get this one okay and now if we take this uh, velocity uh, uh, charge density and electric field as a oscillatory equation that is exponential equation then uh, del del t is replaced by minus i omega and uh, gradient is replaced by my uh, i k k x then equation 67 to 69 67 68 and 69 these three equation actually replaced as like that 67 68 and 69 now eliminating just n1 and e1 you will be get this expression from where we can say if v1 is not vanish so we can say the omega square equal to like that so omega is which is nothing but the plasma frequency which is n0 square by m epsilon naught so numerically one can appro uh, approximate this formula uh, that is the this is actually angular frequency this is plasma uh, angular uh, angular frequency this is actually angular angular frequency and this is actually the um, plasma frequency this is plasma frequency this is plasma frequency okay so this was the angular frequency and this is a uh, this is a plus angular frequency plasma frequency and this is the plasma frequency which can be written as well like that trying into the end if we put this value right so this frequency depending only the plasma density is one of the fundamental parameter of the plasma this is the important result because of the uh, small uh, smallness of mass the plasma frequency is usually very high for instance in plasma density like that if you put this value of n the plasma frequency is 9 gigahertz which is the microwave range the gigahertz range you know this is the microwave range okay so uh, i think clear about the uh, plasma frequency and their uh, derivation this is the derivation of the plasma frequency and that's it now comes into the some uh, familiar example of the plasma you know about this uh, example 
that is uh, lighting aurora electrical spark these are the examples so when the electric current is passes through the plasma the plasma emits the light right uh, because they are when the uh, uh, actually plasma emit the lights because there will be transition of the electronic state uh, energy state of the electron or the electron is transit from higher register to lower register they give they emit the light and when they are matches our visible lens it will be colorful right neon and fluorescent light this type of light also produce the plasma uh, flame flame also a burning glass or a weak weakly ionized plasma um, and there is sodium light d line nebula industrial gas solar wind uh, earth atmosphere van all belts this for example of diffusion low temperature ionized gas and the sun and the star this is the control thermomolecular fusion of a hot dense plasma provide us the energy and the entropy on the earth can we develop a practical scheme of the trapping this virtually inexecute source of the uh, energy actually this is a huge amount of energy is this are is a question actually can i trapping this virtually inexecutable energy of this so we can see this the plasma in our nature natural plasma this actually natural plasma next one is the potential application what are the application and plasma in the very beginning we was say that the plasma can be used for the semiconductor industry to develop a um, uh, uniform uh, reproducible devices right so for uniform reproducible devices we can use plasma mechanism in the uh, vacuum chamber we use actually plasma mechanism to produce uniform uniform and reproducible 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 thin films okay so plasma may kept in the confinement and heated by magnetic and electric fields this feature used to build plasma gun that ejects ion with the velocity like that and this gun used to an ion uh, that is rocket engine in the rocket engine this uh, plasma gun actually used uh, this velocity will be very high one could build plasma motor using this uh, which from uh, ordinary motor having the plasma not the metal as the basic conductor of electricity this motor could be lighter and more efficient than the ordinary motor similarly one can develop plasma generator thermodynamic energy converter resonator or wave length communication for communication plasma on the earth atmosphere reflect low frequency electromagnetic wave below 1 megahertz and transmit high frequency so for communication we also use this plasma mechanism on the ionosphere here yeah, so these are the potential application for the plasma and uh, these are the actual uh, numericals value for this different type of plasma interstitial gas solar corona solar atmospheric diffuse lab plasma dense dense lab plasma thermomolecular plasma for there this is the particle density ion density which actually n and this is the temperature you can see this temperature how much high this temperature is how much high and this is the divided length you remember this divide length in in this length this plasma is confined and this is the plasma frequency we just uh, expressed the plasma frequency expression which is uh, actually we can say a p uh, actually proportional to root 10 uh, like that and uh, there is i think nine there should be a nine here yes nine for uniform distribution there will be uh, a nine root n okay and the collision frequency that is uh, the ions and electron are collide to each other there is a collision frequency that means the uh, time uh, uh, time required between two successive collision is the time period in the inverse of the time period actually collision frequency that means you can say the, the frequency number of collision per unit time actually collision frequency this is uh, like that okay so this, this is a tabular uh, form just to watch this value uh, and this is the example natural example of plasma and you know the artificial is lab plasma this is artificially and this is the application for plasma okay
the application in semiconductor industry also you can write down in semiconductor industry for making uniform uniform and reproducible reproducible device okay so for that <coughs> we can use plasma mechanism also so i think clear about all this thing if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box so that's it for today we will we take in the next class we will meet in the next class as soon as possible thank you